Okay, good morning, guys. Matt with the Feral Photographer. I have a, uh, I have a, a terrible announcement. Um, I woke up this morning, went in to feed Little Misfit. We are holding on to until Monday for Kim so that he can be socialized and adopted. And um, Little Misfit escaped. Little Misfit was in our air-conditioned laundry room, and it was my fault. I should have put a little carabiner clip into the two zipper connectors on top of the large uh, cat-type carrier thing that we were holding her in. And somehow she managed to climb up onto the top and separate the two zippers and squeeze out. And unfortunately, behind our washing machine or our dryer in our laundry room, there is a piece of drywall missing that goes in underneath the bathtub um, into the bathroom that is behind our laundry room. So right now, I believe that Little Misfit has crawled around the side of the tub, which is all tiled in in our bathroom, so we can't get to it and is hiding behind the bathtub. So I've pulled our, our dryer out and I've set the trap with mackerel in front of the opening and hopefully sometime today um, we will trap Misfit again and this time we will, I will be a lot more careful. Um, good morning, Louie. Good morning, Louie. So... That was my fault. That was my responsibility, and I screwed up. So hopefully sometime today or overnight tonight, um, the trap has both a water bowl and a bowl with mackerel in mackerel juice. Hopefully Little Misfit will smell the food because he hasn't eaten since last night. Um, and we'll come back out, go into the trap, and we will make sure that he is much more secured until he is picked up. So that is bad news, but um, hopefully it turns out for the best. Um, hi, buddy. It's been, it's been a hectic morning, man. It really has. It's been really stressful, so I've been stressing out all morning. Um, hi, buddy. Do you, do you not get attention? Enough attention? I think you do. I think you get more attention than anybody. So, that's the bad news. Um, I will keep everybody updated as soon as he goes back in the trap. I've got cat hair in my eye. Um, no. Alright, i got cat hair in my eye. I can't see. I will keep everybody... <laughs> I really can't see right now. Um, I will keep everybody updated and I will post a new video as soon as Little Misfit goes back in the trap um, and is secure. Um, I hope it doesn't take very long. I don't like the idea of, you know, a kitten hiding back in that hole, you know, behind our tub. Really, you are shedding really bad. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it to anybody since, since I've got the camera rolling. Um, I am highly allergic to cats, so I just thought I would let everybody know that. Um, every day I go through this, I have to go pull cat hairs out of my eye. It, it's unbelievable. My eyes get red. My face gets red. But I love these guys more than life. So that's the situation on Misfit. Hopefully sometime today he's going to get hungry and he's going to come back out and go into that trap and... Um, if not, then I'm going to have to report to Kim today and ask her for help. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, a friend of mine and myself uh, several years ago redid our bathroom here and we tiled everything. The walls are tiled, the floor is tiled, the bathtub is tiled in. Um, and there's space between the tub and the wall and there's space between the the front of the tub that we tiled up um so you know misfit can squeeze around that bathtub and hide in the back there's probably about that much space back there between the other wall um and the tub 
So I'm pretty sure that's where Misfit's hiding right now. Um, I just hope he comes out, comes for food, and we can trap him again because this is not cool. Um, totally my fault. I should have I should have made sure that that holding that holding pen was secure and had the carabiner holding the two zippers together. Um, so bad news, but I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully it turns out for the best. Um, I won't be trapping, uh, going after his mom until Sunday night. So, um, uh, I just, I hope he comes back into the trap soon because, um, you know, we can't afford to tear all our walls apart and fix them, um, to get him out of there. So, you know, if he, if he hasn't gone in the trap by six o'clock, I'm going to talk to Kim and you know, maybe we can get some people over here that got ideas um, that can help, you know, get him out. But I, I think the only way we're going to be able to get him out is luring him out with bait, with food and water and a trap. So that's what I'm doing right now. So a uh, huge, huge lesson learned about responsibility, about checking everything and making sure everything is secure. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for making my eyes all itchy. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I love it when my eyes are runny and itchy and swollen. Yeah, and you're shedding really bad. But that's okay. But that's okay. It's okay, huh, buddy? Yeah. So, Louie. Oh, my goodness, Louie. So, yeah, my morning's been extremely stressful. So, I thought I would just share that with you guys. Uh, Seven-minute video. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. We're crossing ours. We're praying that he just sneaks out to get some food and we got him again. Um, we're definitely going to have to close that that hole up behind the washer because we can't keep anything in there that they can get back there. Totally spaced. I didn't even remember that it was open back there. Um, you know, didn't even think that he would get out of the carrier that he was in. So um, that's it. That's that's the update. Um, I'll do another post later, let you guys know what's going on. But for right now, I'm just uh, pacing the house and kicking myself in the ass because uh, this shouldn't have happened. So, all right, guys, I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, do something kind for cats. Thanks, guys.